all right guys welcome back welcome back so again i'm going to ask please just drop a like and drop a subscribe so we can keep the channel growing so i can keep providing all this free stuff what is a report is the next one so it's a way to show your answers from a query in a neat format now queries can be very very detailed they can have a lot of information so uh, the whole point of a report is to simply outline this in a way that's easy to read easy to understand easy on the eyes queries must be done first so again a query is asking the database a question just like in normal life i would say when you query something you ask for some information right when you are given that information you need to then present that in a report so that people who want to view it read it analyze it can do that so reports are going to be a relatively quick section and as i've said we have to use queries to create our reports before you can create a report you should ideally edit the query you want to use the report so if the query doesn't show everything that you need in the report it simply won't work if you need to go back and delete something from the report you can simply click on it and delete it but the information must first be there in the query before it will ever show up in the report uh, how do we create a report let me go to my database if i can find it all right so let's go to my database which is here let's click on the first one i did was uh, query all i'm going to go to create and i'm going to go over to report now i don't really need to edit anything from this one because this is a stupid simple basic one it doesn't look that different to us but this is ideally what you should have when trying to give this to someone else another thing is try to make sure you rename this title here i think it's in the header yes header make sure you rename this to something sensible so query showing all i don't know people for example just make it as descriptive as you can as short as you can and make sure you stick to whatever conventions there are now when you're done you can simply preview this as a normal report by going down bottom right hand corner you have design view uh, layout view print view report view and here this is how you actually see the report right we can also go to design view as i've mentioned and we have a lot more control over what we have or what we do so let's say i let me drag this down a little bit i don't need a customer id i simply click on the customer id box and i'm going to click delete on my keyboard that removes customer id so when i go back to what's this uh report view that information is not going to be there and i can do that for the data as well so if i go back to this customer id delete that one is there any more i believe that's all of them and i go back to report view all that information is completely gone so even if you have information in your query that you don't want that's perfectly fine you can easily remove it all right so let's look at that last query i did which was i believe staff speciality let's just go with that one i think it was price of price of private actually so again before you do the report you have to click on the query you want to use so make sure it's highlighted mine is going to be pink yours might be blue whatever color your operating system uses go to create you're going to go over to report and it does most of the work for you to be fair after that you're mostly done if you need to make any changes i won't be making any changes to mine but if you needed to you can go to design view and you can change almost anything from here i'm going to double click on my option here i'm going to do uh what's this this is going to be a query no sorry report for private or calculation private whatever you want to put right calculation and from there you're finished you simply right click again save let's call this report so at the beginning i'm going to put report click ok and that saves it now you can right click and go to report view from here as well you can also go down here but i just like the right click at the top right click go to layout view you can change the layout move stuff around if you needed to we can go to design view we can still move stuff around here it's a bit more granular meaning you get a bit more control over it and remember please always remember to change the name in the header it's never a good idea to leave the name exactly the same and finally we can go to print preview so when someone prints it on a4 paper or letter 
size paper if you're in America, this is how it will come out. And typically you'll see sales numbers printed on paper like this. This database that we are working with is very small, but if you have a larger data set and a larger database, this is a really good way to present your findings. All right, so that was it for simple reports. So just like I did simple queries, I'm doing simple reports and I'm going to do advanced reports in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.